It is. I think. Right, well, hello everybody and welcome to this week's Monday social stream. Uh, this week we are again not going for our usual format. Um, we are raising awareness for disability, race and religion um, and for the discrimination against those things. Um, these sort of things should be happening in this world and as we talked about last week with the Black Lives Matter um, it's kind of a stream that uh, we don't want to do but we have to do um, because it's an ongoing issue that won't be solved until we actually put some action into it and joining me uh, today is SLR Morgan um, he's going to talk about uh, his feelings on the matter um, and welcome mate thank you hello everyone yeah well yeah basically I just thought obviously last week everything was centered obviously with the Black Lives Matter because obviously that's the most trend like, obviously that's what everyone's uh, on trying to spot nowadays obviously you see it within football like that's the main talking point so I just thought why not expand it and look at disability race um, obviously religion because obviously they're three of the other big aspects where it don't get mentioned a lot with like discrimination so I thought it'd be a good idea yeah, to like exactly. just open that up people to like it's like go into more depth about different parts and just not one topic just spread out a bit more yeah um, well obviously you came up with the idea so uh, thanks to you for putting this on um, let's see we got um a multitude of different liveries going on as well. Uh, so sort of Ned Claw earlier in the week, he uh, came to me and said that we're talking about uh, green and yellow for a hidden disability sort of lanyard. Uh, I think he was people aware when they have hidden disability. Um, don't know if he's even on track at all at the moment. No. He's not, but yes, he was talking about green and yellow, um, and also like the rainbow colours for the NHS have occupied at the moment but uh yeah that's also for the disability um ranga says hello um yeah uh, also for people who are watching do you feel free to fire in your views or whatever you think as we go through uh this evening um so i say firstly on disability uh yeah be having a I say hidden disability myself. It's uh, you know there's there's always things like the opportunities people get because you know I think it's hard for people to be uh, outgoing. Uh, well, certainly in my case, anyway. I don't know if there's anybody else, but yeah, I think it's like. Anything, as long as everybody gets the equal opportunities to thrive in their own way, um, and they can go do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. For uh, your experiences with the disability side. Um, well, I've grown up with a life living condition, disability, so I've grown up and obviously had to face difficulties and obviously discrimination due to the fact of me being in a wheelchair and everything. So I just I, that's that was the one I felt more passionate about. And obviously I and obviously that's why I then I just mentioned like the race and religion just do it like so I could not uh, so everyone felt like connected. But obviously the main one for me was the disability because where I'm where I'm disabled and have a lot of living in disability. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so I would say what sort of age were you where uh, you kind of realised that uh, oh, you were uh, well, you were kind of had the discrimination coming in more? Probably when I was younger in 
mainly starting gen, uh, juniors for the younger people don't like get it. Yeah. Understand disabilities. Um. But yeah, it's just one of those things where it's hard. And like people go to me, how do you cope with it on a daily basis? See, like for the last nineteen years, I go, you, you get used to it. I will go yeah, on the one don't. of those. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's just not one of those pe people that let to get down. Let me get down. It's, just, it's life. You can't help that if you're born with this disability, you're born with this disability, but you shouldn't be discriminated for it. You should be treated as, as equal as everyone else, no matter what. Exactly. I think that's what some people don't get. They're a bit, I would say, ignorant to the fact that there are obviously going to be people with disabilities and they, they don't give that, them that chance to even like surprise them almost. Like, I've obviously, I think I can agree with you. It's like, don't, l I don't let my disability define me. Um, it's hard to talk about it because I don't want to. I say, oh, yeah, this. I don't. I don't want to. Once it's just to use it as an excuse. It's something that I've lived with pretty much mm, the most of life that I can remember, um, and I had to deal with it. Um, and this, yeah, it, it has been hard. Um, but I think as you get older, you kind of you make things easier for yourself. Um, especially when other people don't make it easy for you, um, mm. it's like well, you gotta almost bite the bullet at some point. Um, yeah, you shouldn't always have to. Um, obviously, I uh, I get help with like studying and all that, um, and when I need to and especially on the social side um, like I said last week I never thought I'd be doing something like this streaming to however many people so you know um, that's why that's why I say I mentioned it again like I took drama as a GCSE to uh, to gain confidence in just the, my whole life really to try and uh, be uh, a bit more outgoing because um, that's the bit I struggle with so uh, I don't know if that's the same for you or not but uh, yeah yeah obviously people deal with disabilities in a completely different way obviously like you said you took drama to like help you with your like disability and confidence I just got used to it as I grew up and just faced the fact that I have got a life living condition it is not going to get better. I got to take out the gym and like that on my day to day life. You can't, I can't let it get you get down all the time. It's no point. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm one of those that don't want everyone to like when obviously people ask, like, find out about my this, like, obviously, me being in a wheelchair, they got like they feel sorry. And I'm like, don't, I don't want this like soppy comments. Like, I'm not all about like the, sim like the sympathy and shit like that. I mean, it's just like, I just want to be treated as every other normal person. Just treat me like that. I don't want to be different to no one else. Because we shouldn't. We should be part of like one. Yeah. I think, um, obviously, you kind of think that the we race as one, you know, I haven't really mentions the disability side and all that about it but you know that's it's you can still come under that bracket you know um there's always ways you look at someone like uh frank williams obviously he's had his accident and he's had to yeah. be in a wheelchair for the rest of his life um he's still going strong at the moment but you know he is still head of williams he's obviously created one of the greatest teams in the grid so he's still fighting all he can and he obviously had to learn to live a different way obviously being able-bodied already um, and he's been able to fight through 
what he's had to go through ever since he had his accident so and that's why I think you gotta give huge respect to like uh, the Paralympians and all that you know because it must have been hard originally for all them of all of the athletes to go through what they did and they've managed to uh, they managed to come through so like you say it's it's about coming uh, to the other side of whatever the challenge is um, and not not letting it any, anything to uh, define define you really um, Ranga says big respect to Morg for this so there you go that is yeah I will wholeheartedly agree with that. <coughs> um, I was going to say there was. I remember um, telling someone about my disability because um, I, I, well, people don't know I play tennis and I was just getting some conversations about life outside and they were asking me about why I don't do things or whatever I just I said the way I said I'm um, act like this because or because of uh, disability and they immediately said sorry um, <laughs> which is uh, yeah I was like well uh, you know like you said don't be sorry it is it is I don't let it define me so uh, I don't think they should uh it's not something they should really say, but they, it's kind of a natural reaction for people. They don't have that daily struggle to apologise. Um, I guess it's a matter of them not understanding. Mm. Um, but yeah, we've got... 14 viewers so like I say if uh, any of you got any thoughts and feelings then uh, please fire them in um, yeah obviously we talked a lot about race last week um, yeah yeah we'll obviously keep talking about that still because it's still an issue um, I remember seeing in the news across the week uh, someone I think it was the uh, English or British? Oh, yeah, I think it was in England. Yeah, so England police obviously put were putting a putting a knee on somebody's neck, um, which yeah, that's just shows that there is still a problem, um, and it's not going away. Uh, so yeah, like I say, it we uh, the Black Lives Matter. Obviously, are important for, as long as um, we shall live and more because you know, it's hard to uh, see. And obviously, uh, obviously, people say, "Oh, it's not just uh, black people; or whatever white people as well suffer injustice from like the police system." It, mm. it kind of doesn't even make the news when it's uh, it's something to do with a white person but it does when it's a black person so it kind of shows there's a kind of media issue um, yeah, as well definitely. yeah like I think the, it's like we were saying like, like dress is about for like because the white people when the white people get like aired done by my police it's not on the news I just think because it's this like the Black Lives Matter is gone on for so long I think it's just not it's just a norm for like, it to be reported in the news and obviously we know what the American like the American police are like but they're so brutal the brutality over there is ridiculous like especially towards like coloured people like It's ridiculous, yeah. like, they don't care, like, but it's been like that for years, centuries, like, years now, like, 
if you think back into like the 1970s and stuff like that, that was probably when it was at its worst, like, the police just didn't care back then in America. No. If, if, if you've, like, if, if you've, like, watched the film, try out con this. With this. Yeah. Like, with, like, back in, like, the 1980s, and when they, obviously, that group, that famous group was coming around, obviously, they're famous for the song, Fuck the Police. Because obviously, what go through a day to day basis, they just thought, why not make a song? And it's probably one of their most popular songs, and it got so many people. Yeah, um, apparently, your voice is lagging a bit. Um, I think if you, yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe if you just unplug your mic and plug it back in, it might be yeah. alright. So. Um, so, yeah, we, uh, I think, um, that we've got, there's obviously been a few different films that they've brought out, um, I haven't seen them all, but, uh, yeah, they, they it is still an ongoing issue, um, when it doesn't have to be, and unfortunately it is, um, I think, yeah, I think since, obviously, the stuff with George Floyd came out, um, there's been a lot of backlash for the American police. Um, rightly so. It yeah. is something that uh, needs, the agenda on needs to be, keep, uh, keep going. Um, because this is not going to stop and as you can see, they obviously they talked about uh, the world leaders kind of not really caring almost. Um, it's kind of like, well, you got to like open your eyes to the, what's going on. Um, I think obviously getting the right opportunities, as we said, with the disability will definitely help with... Uh, the race, racial injustice that there is. Um, oh, I like to think so. Anyway, yeah, um, so. obviously, there's we have. Uh, we haven't talked about religion as uh, just yet, but um, I think um, I remember learning about. Uh, I think it was Martin Luther King, um, and his speech. It's probably one of the most famous speeches in history. Yeah. Um, and all the stuff he did to fight Help for the black his community. own life. Yeah, and everyone's lives. Um, uh, he he was just. It was almost. You can almost say he was one of the pioneers. Um, mm, but it definitely. just shows that with him being. With him being assassinated, it kind of shows that it it was obviously not what everybody wanted to hear, but it, yeah. it's just pounding it, pounding it in, and just keep reminding everybody that you know we need an equal world, we need a peaceful world. Um, as hard as that may be. Um, we can do it. But just don't know how long it will take. Unfortunately, yeah, um, it, it's not going to be an overnight process. Definitely no. But it will. Uh, it will take some time. But as long as we don't let it die a quiet death, we uh, we will make it through everything. Um, so yeah, with the. Obviously, with the religion side, it kind of uh, had. I think in the past, it's kind of been a. Obviously, with the uh, terrorism issue. Yeah. That it surrounds. Yeah, that surrounds uh, the religion sides. It's kind of people 
second guessing. Uh, that religion. Yeah, I mean, that's only a minority of people. Yeah. Mm. It would be like 100 odd people, uh, or probably maybe a bit more than that. I don't really know, but could be thousands. You don't, you don't, you just don't know. But um, I think, in, if you think, it just kind of, um, it's hard because it obviously there are people that do stuff and they blame it. Well, they don't blame it, they say it's kind of the religion saying. That's why they did it, um, and you can obviously see why there's this misconception of different religions. Um, I think Islam kind of suffers the most from that. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's everyone was born into this world the same way. we are all inherently the same person. Uh, well, not the same person, but the same person in terms of we're all human. Um, Humans. We we grow up the same way. Uh, Would you believe in different? Well, the same way we kind of we grow things. up in different different uh, different places, but we all grow old the same. So yeah, uh, it, it's like why do people do this? Um, I don't know if you've seen any sort of resentment in your lifetime or not. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really, think... it's, with, with the race, obviously, it's really difficult to like, solve that like, because you've got to be so careful with what you say and obviously upsetting different um, religions, obviously, because they, what, like, they believe in different things to what we believe in, obviously. And I think the main one, the main sort of bottom religions is obviously the ther- like the like it, Muslims and it, like Islams and stuff, because everyone, because obviously when you're younger and you hear about all these terrorist attacks and like obviously you learn about like, oh really like your first instinct is like ah oh, if if that's what they like then sure they're all going to be like that. obviously as you grow older you realise it's not all of, it's not every Muslim, it's only a small minority of them that have just twisted the way that the, uh, the what they believe in. Yeah. They just turned it evil. It's, it's a really sensitive topic, obviously, with religion. And... Yeah. I think if you yeah. would to talk, I don't want to say talk to someone, but if you... So you go obviously in school, um, you have people, and then you get to know someone, and then you realise, um, kind of their story, um, in a way. Um, so, you know, it's like just trying to treat everyone how you would like to be treated, and yeah. trying to give back something as well do almost like obviously you don't have to go the extra mile but it, it would almost like help in some cases uh, especially with obviously the race which is an ongoing issue at the moment so um, yeah I think as long as uh, as long as you can be nice to everyone that's why I'd say if you were gonna take anything away, it's just just be nice. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't see how hard it is to uh, not. You know, I saw people are different. I know, but uh, it, it's not hard to just yeah. Like I say, just be kind to someone. Uh, but obviously. Uh, People can be mean, um, but everyone's just trying to do their best in life, and you should your opinion should only change on someone if um, you see them do something that's out of line. Yeah, pretty much.
Um, and while we're on this formation lap, you can see the multiple different liveries that all these drivers have chosen. Which you do love to see indeed. Uh, Nedko with his green and yellow livery for the hidden district lanyard as well. Um, but yeah, it's literally like a rainbow on this grid, so that is. Either the that is basically the message we're trying to give away from this race that we are holding today is that from whatever you've grown up with, what any walk of life you come from, that we all are we're all with you. We all are racing as one, and we do definitely care, and we. Are raising awareness as well, so you know, we, uh, yeah, I thank all the drivers for participating today and uh, showing all their different liveries. Um, yeah, um, just trying to think, uh, what else we haven't really covered at the moment. Um, <coughs> I think um, obviously there is stuff if you look on Twitter about uh, the Black Lives and uh, the religion, as I think the lobby has been messed up a little bit. I'm not quite sure. No, we are going. Okay, that's all right. Um, yeah, so there is obviously stuff on online. You can sign petitions for the race. Uh, I think if you just read about stuff, I'd say just read different things you see. Um, different crises going on. I think obviously there's one in one in Yemen at the moment where it's kind of just being wiped off the map. Uh, uh, with all the bombings that have been taking place there. Um, shame, but you know, we don't really want that to happen um, I think there's some issues with uh, Palestine as well uh, Jerusalem and uh, Israel and that so uh, which is obviously the Christianity side of things um, yeah. I think you just I'd say for people who are unaware of things going on is uh, just read different stuff especially about religion um, obviously they'll teach you stuff in schools but they won't teach you Everything like you said, a, a load of amount. As I remember saying last week, that there's stuff that uh, about race that they that's happened in history that they uh, don't, teach don't even talk about. Um, it's almost like the uh, well, it's like I think it's inherently the people who um, write the write the history books. So. Um, you know, it's almost we are we are creating history at the moment. If you think about it, with all the Black Lives Matter stuff, and hopefully it's not just something that's in history. If we look back in ten years' time, hopefully in ten years' time we don't even have to talk about these issues. Mm. Um, I think it comes down to education mainly on everything. Whether it be disability, race, religion, whatever you want, it it's literally for people to get educated at a younger age, obviously in schools predominantly. Um it seems like the uh the people who I wouldn't say moan about it the most, but uh do certainly speak out of the people of a older generation, maybe a certain generation. Um, I don't know if you've experienced that before. No, not really. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've talked at length last week about it. Um, but yeah, it's kind of... I find it's the older generation that kind of... Sort of people that are... Sort of, I want to say, stuck in the ways in which they grew up. Grew up with. Yeah. Um, but you know, if it's if 
we want everlasting change. We want people to know about the issues of the past, present, the whatever future. really may come in the future. Um, but hopefully the future gets better. Um, I think you've obviously talked very well in your what you had to do deal with in your disability. Um, yeah, it's kind of we live uh, to make ourselves better as people. Um, being with disability is hard. Uh, so I, I know I had to live with my family. There's still a disability in my family. Um, so I've met people uh, that have have disabilities. Um, there's not many people um, at all, but uh, it, you have to be an element. There's an element of being brave to speak out, um, as we're doing today, of course. So. I think the more people that speak out, the better. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, I think there's not a huge amount of chat action today, but uh, if you have anything to say, then please feel free to comment. Um, what would you say is your favourite delivery at this grid? Well, really hard. Obviously, people have like done it for what represents them. Obviously, the way so, maybe I'll change the, uh, yeah. change the question a bit. Um, if you were going to make a livery for this, what uh, what would you, what, how would you design it? Um, Probably blue and white. Probably one like a blue uh, and white. Yeah. Yeah, I think um well obviously the the uh disabled uh the symbol that they use is blue and white. Yeah. Um I believe. So uh yeah, I can why that. Um I think I would I'm not sure why I think I'd probably just try and make it as uh, as bright as possible, really. Um, I think, yeah, it's like you know, just being yourself. Yeah. Uh, it's just being yourself. Kind of funny. Expressing, expressing yourself as well. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, you know, people come from all walks of life. Um, it's obviously hard for some people to. Uh, uh, express themselves, but I think if you give them that platform uh, to do so, that ability. Um, I've seen enough of people trying to uh, shoot people down, so you know, it's mm -hmm. kind of like kind of getting out of that mindset of just, just don't, you know, just, just be nice. Um, like I keep saying, um, I think uh, obviously there's. I think there's another thing we could talk about is uh, the uh, gender discrimination. Um, yeah, still goes on. Obviously, we've seen some some stuff on Twitter recently. I won't go too in depth about it, but um, but yeah, I think it's kind of people. Uh, it's, well, the men have been kind of using women as it's almost like they use women as an object almost it's kind of I know that sounds a bit harsh but yeah it, it's kind of like are they and it, they're trying to do what they want obviously uh, you know, I think in jobs as well uh, that is starting to improve we have Claire Williams obviously well, deputy team principal, but is running the team. 
Yeah. Um, obviously, you need more more women in higher positions if you give them the right opportunities and let them have the chance. Yeah, exactly. Um, sometimes they're not uh, not getting that chance. Uh, it's like with the black people not getting the chance, having uh, only one black driver in Formula One. Um, obviously got one female driver and we've been F1, F2 and F3 so uh, yeah. know, it's the same thing you know, if you give them more opportunities um, obviously we had Tatiana Calderon last season we have Sophia Flourish this season um, but there's only one person so you know are they really getting the chances obviously the W series yeah with James Hardware we're talking about that uh that's kind of obviously it got some criticism. Um, I remember earlier on when it came out. Yeah. Um, I didn't really know why, um, but you know, um, yeah, I think it's given even female drivers a chance. Uh, we had you know, Jamie Chadwick winning, um, and then there's loads of other people. Um, but yeah, I mean now Jamie Chadwick's obviously part of the Williams Jeez. development program. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think I think we should give female drivers chance. more chance. Yeah, I see. Yeah, uh, there has been times in history that there have been female drivers, but <laughs> it's kind of a handful, really. Um, yeah, but it's good. It's good to see this, starting to see that as well. Um, but I, I don't really know what more they can do. Um, apart from give them opportunities to, uh, to like, do yeah. the tests. To like, obviously it starts in the karting. So I think if you're younger and you don't see. It's sort of a role model in the sport that uh, you want to do. It's kind of a deterrent, really. I um, I don't know uh, what uh, sort of things you've wanted to try and do um, with your disability. Yeah, it's like it's hard, like with. Disability, it just stops you with a lot of things. Yeah. Obviously, job companies, like, it's hard because obviously, job companies need, obviously, I don't know, it's really hard to explain with like the difficulties, like day to day, like the difficulties in life experiences. Like, obviously. Yeah. It's like some people find things harder than other things in life. Like, I just think people are very judgmental when it comes to disabilities and stuff, especially like the severe disabilities. Like, people are very judgmental when it yeah. comes to like, oh, yeah, that, yeah. like the severe what kind of like kind of disabilities. I can definitely agree with that. Um, I guess, um, have you uh, ever wanted to do things like, I'd say, like a sort of like a bucket list sort of things? Have you ever like made yourself a goal of something you wanted to achieve? No, I kind of like, I haven't really done a bucket list or anything, but like, I've had the seven days to prove hospital was wrong, teachers wrong, yeah. friends wrong, and been like, look, I might be disabled by these things. I'm not completely. I can't come do still. I can still do things in life. Hmm. Yeah, that's that is kind of what you want to do. You know, you get anything like people telling you you can't do something. Just uh, with the disability. It's like yeah. 
you, we might lose a bit, but we still have every right to give everything in life a chance. Yeah, um, I, I know my brother was has been said that, or well, there's been kind of a feeling that he has been told that he can't do something, but he's proven them wrong. So you know, it, you see, yeah. Uh, Obviously, he uh, he was able to get through that. Um, you have to prove people wrong um, in a way. Obviously, uh, I didn't even think I'd get as far as university, but I have. So maybe it's a matter of keep doing or like taking um, each day as it comes. You know, yeah. um, certainly what I try to do. You don't really know what life's going to throw at you from day to day, especially no, times like now no. with the virus. Mm. Um, I certainly <coughs> found it hard for uh, motivation uh, during this time. Um, mm. I don't know if you've found that as well. Yeah, it's been quite tough. Like, this lockdown. It's been quite tough over the last four months now. Yeah. Yeah, I guess cause you have that feeling of we don't really know um, what uh, is going to happen. Um, you don't, obviously, there's you have the virus around, but you don't really know where it's going to be. Um, so it is hard. To uh, try and motivate, motivate yourself to do something, yeah. um, but I think having SLR to you know you got people in here who are respectful, um, which helps. So I have to uh, give a pat on the back to the league, um, or you know, allowing I guess us to hold these sort of races yeah um, obviously yeah uh, people are willing to take part which shows uh, solidarity with everyone mm. um, so yeah um, I don't know what to say um, <laughs> Slightly uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd say to people just um, if they are feeling, I would say, demotivated, not the best. Yeah, you've you survived a hundred percent of your bad days, so. Uh, I think you can survive one more. Um, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, just like keep fighting. It is what you have to do. Mm -hmm. you know, fighting for, fighting for change. Fighting for what was right. You know, um, fighting to make yourself a better person. Um, uh, just you know, you you don't know what people are gonna say, um, but I think you know their opinion doesn't matter if they uh, if they don't really know you. Yeah, exactly. People like to voice their opinion a lot, mm. and sometimes it's really uncalled for. Yeah. Um, so. You know, what what more can you do really mm. than just live your own life with well, you know, having your here. family support you? Um, mm. and hopefully, you have the community as well. You know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, I think, I think Xbox is what gives 
obviously people like the, the platform for people to meet new people and obviously it helped them yeah. push everything to the back of their heads which I think helps a lot of people a lot especially with depression and mental health which is another big topic in today's society which in my opinion doesn't get talked enough about and it doesn't yeah, get like, think... the, the recognition and help that it should by government and this, this, basically the whole world yeah I, I think men's mental health as well is a lot worse than what people yeah it's a lot worse than what people actually think, think it would it's be just, it's because put back to the side. yeah it's kind of that notion of oh you're a man you can deal with it yeah, that's just not the case at no, all. No, men, yeah. men go through dark days. You know, men and men and women are are they yeah, exactly are the there same. any separate issues? But exactly. they still have they go through the same mental health issues and what they think. Um, you know, whether it's suicide or not, you would never want to come to that position at all. No. Um, but it could come about because of a certain way people talk to you or whatever, you know. Um, people, Like you say, people just don't talk about it enough. They say, oh, well, they might briefly mention it. Um, but it's not something that gets dealt with enough in this world. Like, yeah. The amount of I think people, if you got... The amount of people that end up killing, like, Commit suicide because of mental health, and you still get that done by by people. It's just completely wrong, especially in like the younger generation. It's wow, it's very, it's very very common because you have to look to the social media and everyone's so judgmental in this world nowadays. Like it's unreal. Like people get judged on just their appearances. The way they look, the way they dress, things they do in their life, and they shouldn't. People have their own life, they can dress the way they want, they want they can live the way they want, they can do what they want. You're not in control of their life. There's no need to put all the ne- no. negative comments and hate messages. Yeah, too right with that. Um they kind of it's like anything really. The yeah people with the uh, LGBTQ plus community as well yeah um, it, it's the same thing you know there's people who say something about that that's obviously going to impact their mental health as well I think mental health is around with everybody you know um, mm. whether you've got best I'm sure like obviously you got even if you've got like the best things that you could have like I'm sure you could have all the riches in the world and still not be happy. St- yeah, still. That's what I say. Money, not, money don't make happiness. Money can't mm-hmm. buy you happiness in this life, in this world. No. Not at all. Um, and people will think that, and it's kind of going down a dark path, which uh, they don't, they don't want to happen, um, but. It just ends up happening, um, mm. and it's kind of getting help, and it's okay to ask for help, no matter who just, you are. It's getting that help, which yeah. is the main issue. And I, and uh, you know, wanting to get that help, not just shutting yourself up, like suffering in silence. Mm. Um, no. And uh, that happens a lot, unfortunately, and it's kind of a society we live in, especially with uh, social media as well. Yeah. Um, I think that's got a lot worse. Um, I think if social media wasn't about, I think the world would be a lot, uh, be a different a place. A lot happier. Yeah. Um, social media is part of the problem as well, so with everything because yeah. people use those platforms to 
say what they want. Mm. Um, and that gets done like that. No, Facebook no. the worst. Uh, Facebook is one of the worst ones. The amount of hate people get on that. If you look at all the celebrities and stuff like that, all the hate they get for a tweet. It's like, yeah. what's the point? Like, are you actually willing to sit behind a keyboard and a screen and write all those hateful messages just to make you feel better about yourself? It's completely wrong, in my opinion. People are, those people are like the scum of the earth. Yeah, this has got a lot of keyboard warriors in the world. Mm. Um, and they're hiding behind a screen. Um, and they just some comments saying even I've seen some in the past few months with girls or women putting other women down for how they look. Yeah, it's kind of like kind of what is the point? Everyone is mm. going to be different, so you know. they're not all going to be perfect models. Yeah, or even. <laughs> is there a perfect model, you know? Let's say you could I love it, there is. Someone who looks... You could be someone who... You would call someone, oh, they're the perfect model, but... Are they? You, you don't really know that. Like, you don't know what's going no. on in their head. Um, so, you know. Uh, it would be nice to see people be nice. Um, yeah, exactly. It doesn't happen enough, uh, which no, is obviously not. why mental health is becoming such a big kind of like, tall order. Yeah, an underlying issue, like the racism issue that's now come to head. Thankfully. Um, Uh, mental health needs to come to the fore at some point in the near future as well because without us talking about it, without uh, celebrities talking about it, it it's just nothing's going to change I think I remember it was Ian Wright talking about it when he was in the jungle for I'm a Celebrity he was talking yeah. about his life um and uh, yeah, the struggles he had to go through growing up, and he struggled with his mental health. Uh, I think Paul Merson as well. He's had a he had a gambling addiction. He talked about his mental health as well, and how he struggled even when he was playing football. Um, so and they're footballers. You think oh they'll be fine. They're playing the sport they love, but you don't know the person. Um, outside of the sport they play, not really. Uh, I think obviously Wilfred Zaha a few weeks ago um, had messages, racist messages from a 12, 12 year old boy. 12 year old boy that got arrested. Yeah, yeah. Like, 12 years wrong. old. Where do they, how do they know that sort of stuff? It's wrong. Yeah. I think. It's 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 just wrong. Like, how do they even no like kind of like come out with that? Stuff. Yeah, it's just not something. Say, obviously, it's come about from past and stuff. Like you say, in America, it, obviously, there was a lot of that going on in the past. Um, it's obviously happened everywhere in the past, really. You know, and stuff gets brought down from families and then unfortunately into their children and then it just gets passed down when it it shouldn't yeah. unfortunately um, it's kind of something that needs to be drilled out of them otherwise they're going to get even into more and more trouble um, so you, you just don't know how that 12 year old boy will grow up being like uh, yeah, I think people need to uh, be educated, like I've said before, 
really mind mind what they're saying. Um, cause they don't really know how hurtful it'd be whether you're just a normal person working nine to five or whatever. Um, you, know, you, you literally could be anyone. Um, but you just don't know until you you wouldn't really know what's going on in their heads. You don't really know what's going on in anyone's heads unless they actually say. So it's kind of just like backing off. Um, yeah, definitely. And being just being there for someone can uh, can help. Um, yeah, it can go a really long way. And there's not enough of that. Um, let's show you everything. Um, if you, let's say, taken away from this, just whatever walk of life you come from, whatever you've had to grow up with, whatever you're dealing with now, um, mental health issues are, are going to be about probably for everyone's lives because. It, the brain does work in mysterious ways and we don't really know how it works at all with like completely so you know so just be kind to everyone that uh, that you meet um, and hopefully in the future however long that may be uh, we will be in a better place as a world, um, but that will take some time. Um, remember, like I mentioned last week, with the likes of Donald Trump and uh, Boris Johnson, they're not exactly the two world well, leaders you'd like to. Yeah, they're not the two uh, world leaders you'd uh, like to be in charge uh, of the countries. respective countries at the moment um, because they are well they're ignorant I think that's the main word I've been saying a lot over this past hours people are just ignorant and uh, it's just not going away at all unfortunately um, and there's not much you can do about them apart from just keep telling them um, and you always get people like that uh, until yeah, they know definitely. that you actually mean business with what you say you can kind of you almost have to do something to raise their eyebrows and, but uh, it, I mean that's hard to do that you don't really feel like you should have to do that but then you do because they're just being idiots basically <clears throat> um, but yeah I think hopefully uh, this event will help if there is anybody that wants to uh, talk to someone feels like they've been locking things away that maybe they could talk to someone about someone close to them or whoever it may be you know maybe that they could get some help obviously I think times like these is where we need to talk people the most because yeah. I think being stuck inside hasn't uh, no. hasn't been great uh, it hasn't been great at all. Um, actually, for everyone, nope. um, you see it everywhere. Hear stories. You know, it was like, and then obviously this is not really anything to do with what we're talking about. But the, with people wearing masks and not wearing masks, it's kind of the same thing. Like, you gotta just do it. You have people who are working in the NHS. Where, like for a long time, like almost most of the day, 
wearing masks and that and they won't wear one for like 20 minutes it's kind of that same thing just do the right thing and say to someone you know I'm here for you or whatever say that I you can say that I will like respect you as a person um, and not be uh, judgmental which a lot of people are unfortunately um, I think we can as everybody I think we can always make ourselves a better person nobody's obviously perfect we all will make mistakes I think with making mistakes you can always make yourself a better person um, as long as you learn from those mistakes uh, whether it's how you talk to someone or whatever um, or how you treat someone maybe you, you, you did something wrong in the past but you know forgiveness is a a strong thing to do um, because it's hard to it, it can be hard to forgive someone um, but if you can do that then uh, that may help people's mental health in the long run um, I certainly think I have personally have helped myself over the past couple of years just trying to take each day as it comes instead of trying to think about the past too much um, obviously it's I, I do tend to overthink quite a lot um, and that's one of the things I struggle with probably the most is overthinking like oh what what should I have said should I have said that um, did I need, should I have done something differently or whatever um, but yeah I think as long as as long as you can uh, try and keep a level head and if you can't keep a level head then you know, there is help out there um, I think it's just admitting to yourself that maybe that you do uh, m that you might need help with a certain aspect Um, I think we'll um, I did ask Ned Claw if he wanted to speak about stuff later on but he didn't uh, I'll see I'll uh, give him an invite after I see if he wants to say some stuff about what he's been uh, doing or he's going through because um, he obviously he came to me during the week about it um, but yeah, I think I have to say a uh, big thank you to all the drivers a uh, big thank you to you Morgan for giving me this idea or giving me, well, giving the idea of this stream and then uh, I obviously used the social stream that I usually do on a Monday uh, to uh, to promote this because uh, I uh, yeah like the Black Lives Matter all these things do need to be do well, do need to have a platform um, at the end of the day and uh, no not all of this stuff does and like you said with the mental health it it still doesn't which is obviously a problem yeah. Um, and I don't know if there's I don't know if you think there's anything like the social media can do or not it's really a yeah. the social media it's not I think um, I think your mic's lagging a bit again oh there it is well, I think uh, we'll try and get Morgan back in he just left the party uh, let's 
I'm just going to invite him back. Um, yeah, I think, uh, there you go. Back in. I was, uh, was going to say your uh, mic was cutting out and then you uh, left the pie. Um. Um, but yeah. yeah, so uh, this uh, race is obviously coming to a close. We will get... Um, Get a few uh, the drivers use hopefully. Okay, looks like Let's see has gone down there, but yeah, um, yeah. If uh, anybody has any issues to talk about or whatever uh, comes to your mind, you know, there is help out there and. Uh, Uh, there will always be someone that you can rely on. There is people shouldn't get to that point of no return. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that so I think that is one of the main issues. Um, you raise awareness about the disability and race and the religion all the time but I think mental health like you say never really has had that get spoken about aware. yeah hasn't just not enough of it um, you know which is which is probably uh, it is the world failing on those people um, right we're trying to we're obviously doing our doing our best to uh, improve that and we will continue to do that through the coming days, weeks, months, years, however long it takes for people to actually realise uh, this is this is the uh, reality that we should live in. Mm -hmm. um, obviously it doesn't it's obviously not happening all the time um, but you know, I think the more awareness we can do, the better. And the more stuff we do like this, you know, I think if we see it, if we look back on what's happening in the world in a year's time, I hope stuff, I hope things have changed. Um, yeah. I, I hope if I, in a year's time, that I have done stuff to improve my myself um, I'm sure you would feel the same like in a year's time you think I've achieved a lot more something in myself yeah you know um, like, uh, this is Zydrad was one of the first people to uh, come to me after last week's stream as well uh, so yeah so uh, yeah and obviously I had a lot of messages of support last week and I'm sure uh, obviously Ranga's uh, is, uh, shown his respect for you I uh, certainly have a lot of respect for you I have a lot of respect for everyone uh, in this community as well um, you know, you, everyone's entitled to their own opinion um, so yeah you know, as soon as we can uh, do our part we can uh, we can make this world a better place. Yeah, definitely. Um, in, yeah, I, I think a lot of people will respect more respect for you after today as well. Um, but yeah, I think all the drivers that turn up today certainly have shown their respect. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, 
yeah, there is the end of the race. Um, I think I will invite. I'll invite uh, the top three once, um, and I invite Nedcore as well. Hopefully, he'll join. Um, yeah, so let's invite. Zydrad. Shall I wait till the uh, wait till we get onto the result stream? Wait for a, wait for a evoke. Who's going to say? Um, doing some uh, donuts now. Oh, we're just spinning. Yeah, he's doing some donuts. Classic from evoke there. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so we'll get the thoughts of the uh, top three drivers and I'll try and get Nicole in. There's a there you go. Uh, so thanks to all the drivers who uh, turned up today. Um, and I will invite drivers in shortly. See if they have anything to say. Let me get onto the loading screen. There we go. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, there we go. Move out to part A. There. Oh, I don't believe that. Right. Uh, there we go. Got a couple of people in. Just so caught in. Don't know if Liam's going to join or not. Oh, he knows. Liam is here. Right. Um. So I wanted to. Uh, obviously, you. Uh, I was saying because you. Uh, obviously, uh, came to me earlier in the week. I just wanted to uh, get your. See if you. Yeah. All right. We're we're all winners. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I was going to start off with uh, oh, actually Nedclaw if you want to start off um, obviously if the race was just the background stuff um, if you want to see your your views on what's going on in the world at the moment and any personal experiences you have if you would like to share um what about hidden disabilities? Yeah, you can just say whatever. Well, I've always felt really strongly about it. I have two children that have hidden disabilities. I grew up with a disabled mum. So I've always had it in my life, in my background. And uh, yeah, it's just something that I've always had knowledge about, I always liked reading about. And stuff like that. now I'm um, experiencing it myself with my two boys. It's amazing what they can uh, achieve in a day, but it's also amazing on how fast they can be set back in a day as well if something doesn't go the right way. So routine is key, really. Yeah. With 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 it, and uh, I don't see it as a disability. I see it as a superpower. Because yeah. every oh, one yeah. of them are different, ne n not one of them are ever the same. And to me, that, that, that. to me, I see that as a superhero because, and a superpower because, you know what I mean, like, no superheroes mm -hmm. are ever the same, as you see on TV, as you read in magazines and comics, so, you know, 
I don't see it as a disability, yeah. I see it as a superpower and just a way of life, so. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for sharing uh, your experiences, views. Um, so, Zydrad, have you got anything else to um, add? I can't really hit a hammer on the head there. Uh, I've obviously grown up with a disability in my life and having to deal with it every day and stuff is a bit of a struggle, but, you know, to pass the time, jump on with the lads, race, whatnot, really gets my mind off things and you really shouldn't be like singled out for any issue. everyone should be classed as just one person really and uh yeah that's basically just adding on to what Nick Law said yeah totally agree with that uh Darnell anything to add to um, that? just pretty much what those two guys said um just following on from it just discrimination against any like disability race religion um it's just not you know it's not on we should all be treating each other as one well we're all we're all one as they all say um uh, fortunately i'm well i'm a white brit so i you know kind of white privilege so i don't have to experience any of this i don't have any disabilities so i don't know how it is um having to deal with it um my granddad did actually have um he's passed away now but i, I don't mind saying it but he uh, grew up his whole life with one leg um, he had an amputated leg when he was a kid, and he pretty much lived his whole life with an artificial leg. Just seeing him crack on with life was, was quite inspiring, to be honest. Um, he was one of the hardest workers I ever knew as well, so just because he had a disability um, doesn't mean he was any, you know, less than, the, you know, the normal person, if you'd say. Yeah, uh, it is different. I think uh, we are, we're all fighters, um, we all... We all are human beings. Um, a lot of people in this world with autism have well. become one of the greats. Right, look at the exactly. look at the man that created Facebook. Exactly. He has autism. Yeah, anything's possible. He grew up with autism and now he's classed as one of the greats. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, athletes out there that have hidden disabilities and still run for our country and stuff like that. Just because they're autistic doesn't mean they can't be a great runner and stuff. You know, it's great what some people can achieve. Yeah, um, is there, Liam, you got anything else to add? Not really. Everyone said pretty much and everything. Also, my wife just informed me that the creator of Pokemon has autism as well, and that's been around for years. There you go. It doesn't get talked about enough. That's what <laughs> I say, you know, um, even the person doing this stream right now has autism, but you know. I didn't think I'd be doing it, but I am. So, you know, yeah. breaking. I think it's about breaking down barriers every mm -hmm. day and trying to be. Uh, you learn something new every day. Yeah. Everyone does. Better, no matter how, who or what better you yourself. Do. Yeah. Obviously, you. Everyone will have their bad days. It's harder. It's for some people than others, but I think if you can come out of those bad days. The world is so different, like... A better mentality. Now, the world is so different. Growing up... It, it does... Uh, sorry to Growing up in the 90s, it make... <laughs> wasn't really looked upon, you know. Autism wasn't really looked upon. Uh, through my school life, no one really had autism. They were just branded naughty or destructive or, you know. They might have had mm. learning difficulties and stuff like that, but there was never given... Really, in the mainstream school, it wasn't really given any help. But now, mainstream schools, they're amazing compared to what they were when I was there. Yeah, yeah, Dan, are you gonna? Um, yeah, well, I, only I was just a few people come to mind, like the likes of like Billy Monger. Obviously, he actually is in kind of nice motorsport as what we're actually doing right now. And just I don't know if any of you saw the documentary that came out last year on BBC iPlayer, but yeah, that was incredibly inspiring to watch that. Honestly, to see how that guy just cracked on with life, knowing that he you know lost both his legs in an accident, and obviously doing the thing he loves, and he just carried on grinding. Look where he is now. He's still doing, still doing well. He's even winning races. So, does yeah. Yeah, like, like me, anything. Like, that was a life changing. That was a life changing accident that he had, and he's still doing what he loves. Yeah. Mm. If anything, he's yeah. doing more now because isn't he presenting as well? Yeah, the yeah. Yeah, ones. yeah, he is. He's doing even yeah, more now. There's a lot of people that uh, 
superstars in this world and i think that is a good way to end off our stream today i'd like to uh, big thank you to all the drivers who participated and a big thank you to morgan who helped uh set up this event um and yeah, thanks talked very well talked very well to uh talk very well about his experiences and about the stream so thank you to everyone for watching uh that is all for now and good night